This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related, and today I'm here to give you some Stadia news. We're going to be taking a look at the latest This Week on Stadia blog post that goes over the pro games for December, as well as a new addition to the store. But before we dive into all that, we need to go over the current Black Friday sale that's going on on Stadia. Now normally when it comes to sales, I would usually cover the title and the price to you, but there are just so many titles on sale that I think it's much more convenient just to highlight some of the more amazing deals. If you're watching the video, you'll see a list of all the deals going on. First up, I'll post the deals for everyone, and then the following list will be for Stadia Pro members. Now as for my recommendations on what deals you should jump on, I highly recommend Doom Eternal Standard Edition for $19.79 US. It's by far one of the best games I've played all year, and it's an absolutely fantastic port on Stadia. Its deal is currently available for everyone at that price, so I would highly recommend jumping on it if you're looking for a first person shooter. But if you're more of a third person type of player, then check out The Division 2. The standard edition is on sale for $13.49 US, or you can get the Warlords of New York edition for $26.99. This is another case of a fantastic port that happens to feature both cross-progression and cross-play. That said, it is only with the PC version of the game, but that still gives you a really good community to play with. It's also a game you can invest a ton of time into if you're into that sort of thing. The game is also further discounted for Stadia Pro members, the Standard Edition coming in at $8.99 and the Warlords of New York Edition at $17.99. Now the last recommendation I have for you all is Marvel's Avengers for $29.99 US. Now, to be perfectly clear, this game has gotten quite a bit of a mixed reaction. That being said, it's still a really fun time. And for that price point, I definitely think you can get your money's worth out of it. Even more so if you're just a big fan of the Marvel movies or comics. But now let's move on to the Stadia Pro games for the month of December. We'll be getting a total of 6 games this month, and they include Into the Breach, Hitman 2, Kine, Monster Jam, Steel Titans, Everspace, and Secret Neighbor. This month's selection actually provides amazing variety. Now I will be making a separate video going more in depth to each game before they come out on Stadia Pro, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for said video. That said, I do want to talk a bit about the two games that I think are definitely highlights here. The first of which is Hitman 2, and if you played the first one as it was a Stadia Pro title as well, this is just more of it but even better. You'll have more tools at your disposal, more disguises to take advantage of, and more missions to take on. While it certainly is a sequel, I do have to admit it feels a bit more like an expansion, but that's a really good thing here. The second noteworthy title I want to speak of is one that may surprise you because I've spoken pretty ill of the franchise till now, and I'm talking about none other than Secret Neighbor. I actually think the multiplayer take this entry does actually works out really well. It's very comparable to a title like Dead by Daylight, which is another Stadia Pro title, so you have a pretty good point of reference. It's a 5 vs 1 experience where 5 players have to gather keys to escape the house while the one player is hunting them down. It's a very teamwork oriented title, so if you have a group of friends to play with, that is the ideal way to get into this game. Now before moving on to the last highlight that I want to talk about in this week's blog post, I do think it's worth mentioning that 5 games will be leaving Stadia Pro come November 30th. So if you haven't already, make sure you claim them. The 5 titles will be Super Hot, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Little Nightmares, Hello Neighbor, and Super Bomberman are online. And as a quick reminder, as long as you claim them, you will continue to have access to them as long as you're a subscriber. Even if your subscription lapses and you decide to come back later, any of the games you claimed will still be accessible. But now let's talk about the highlight of the week, and you've been watching gameplay of it in the background of this video right now. That's right, EA Games has officially brought over their first title to Stadia, and it's Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's available on sale right now for $23.99 US, or you can get the deluxe bundle for $27.99. At that price point, it's pretty hard to say no to one of the best games to come out this past generation. 
Now I will be making a separate impressions and overview video for this title, so be sure to stick around for that. And I'm more than happy to report that the game is running at a smooth 60 frames per second with the resolution being 1080p. And while I know some people will be a bit upset about the game not running at a higher resolution, the smooth 60 frames per second is well worth it. It's an absolutely fantastic experience and the game still looks beautiful visually. From the bit I've played so far, it definitely plays like one of the better ports in terms of latency as well. Either way, you can look forward to my impressions and overview video, I just want to spend a bit more time with the game and get further into its story before I give you my final judgement or recommendation. It should be on the channel by this time tomorrow. Either way, that's all the news I have for you today, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video question is simply going to ask you for what games you're picking up during the Black Friday sale, if any. Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below, I look forward to reading your answers. As always, thank you for watching the video, this has been Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything cloud gaming related. The Gen S community is over 5,700 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.